Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add sections. So, so far, our, our app looks like this. Uh, of course, however, some apps um, in iOS have sections, and the best example is in the settings app. You can see that there's a, a row here, and then another section, and two rows here, and another section, and a couple of rows, and another section, and this row. So, how do we do this for our app? How do we make sections? Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to do here is, in order for you to create sections, you want to have an array of arrays, right? So, so far we've had one array uh, of uh, strings uh, that has the name of fruits, and that's great for a table view, but if we want to have sections, we need to have a multidimensional array or 2D arrays, um, uh, sometimes it's called if it's, if it's two arrays. And in order for you to make an array of array or a multidimensional array, it's pretty easy. So we're going to make a multidimensional array of strings. I'm going to go ahead here and add two square brackets where the string is. So it's a array of strings in strings. Um, and then I'm going to add another two brackets here, one in the beginning and one at the end. And now I could hold multiple arrays. So I already have one array. I'm going to add a comma and I'm going to add another array. Well, my other array is also going to have strings, and uh, just to kind of follow up with this theme, they'll be the colors of these fruits that I've chosen here. So the first one, apple, well, the apples that I eat, um, well, there's different color apples, but uh, the one I usually eat are green, uh, so that's that. Oranges are obviously orange. Um, Let's see here, watermelon. Well, watermelon is uh, green on the outside and red on the inside. So that's that. Um, and let's have a look. Lemons are uh, yellow and limes are green and so on and so forth. I messed up here with the yellow. There we go and so on and so forth. I'm not going to continue this, but you guys get the idea. So now we have two arrays, one with one with um, the fruit and the other array of the colors that are associated with the fruit. Okay, great. So that's our first step. We need to make um, uh, two arrays. The next step that we have to do here is we have to create this function and it's a built-in function and the function is called number of sections. So func number of sections and automatically auto completes it's the first one hit return and you'll um, uh, auto populate it excellent so now we have to return how many sections we want so i could go ahead and return two or four or any number right this function takes an int um, argument um, an int parameter um, so i could return any number but instead of doing that i'm actually going to return uh, dynamically how many sections we have. So how do I do that? Well, just like we did here, I'm going to go return my fruit, which is the name of my array of arrays, dot count. Okay, so now it's going to see how many sections I have. And every array I have counts as a section. So right here, I have two sections. And it'll return that many sections. Now, I do have to make a change here for number of rows in section. Um, instead of having a um, um, uh, my fruit dot count, which is the same here, which will give me just two, which is the number of sections. I have to dig deeper here. I'm going to go section dot count. So I have to make that change. What I'm doing here is essentially where it says number of rows, I'm going to say, listen, go to my fruit, which is the uh, array of arrays, go into each section. So this counts as one section and then figure out the count and then go into the next section and then figure out the count and so on and uh, so forth. And the last change I'm going to have to do here is for my text. Again, my fruit um, index path dot row. I'm going to have to add one more because now we have an, in, uh, an array of arrays. We have to dig deeper. So I have to type in index path dot section. And again, I'm going to the section, then I'm going to the row, right? Because now think of it as layered. So I have to go to the index path of the section. Then once I'm at the section, look at the rows. And I should be done here. So let's go ahead and run the app. And if we look at the app here, you see that we have the original fruits 
and we have the colors associated with the fruit. The problem is, uh, you'd have to believe me that these are sectioned, but they don't look sectioned, right? There's no space in between them. And that's an easy fix. The easy fix here is you actually have to go to main.storyboard, select the table view, and under style, instead of plain, go grouped. And now, if we restart, relaunch the app, rebuild the app, you'll see that they're grouped now. And there we go. See, there's a section here that's uh, that's separating them. So apple, green, orange, orange, watermelon, I said green, red, pineapple, oh, I skipped totally pineapple, lemon, yellow, and lime, green, and I just didn't do another fruit. And that's how you do sections in Table View and iOS and Swift 4. Thank you for watching.